I was downstairs editing a video one night and I came up to get something and I heard this sound. Mom! And I recognized the voice as my 12 year old son, Benson but it was coming from Ezra's room. And if you don't already know, Ezra is our seven-year-old with nonverbal autism. He communicates through an iPad and he never ceases to amaze us. And this was no exception. If you would have told me that he did this, I don't know if I would have believed you. And yet, I saw it with my own eyes. It was so funny. It was so funny. I just had to share. Mom! What? Oh my gosh. Talk to me in here. Oh my gosh. I can't stop it from inside. You were supposed to watch your little brother. And he's watching you. Where is he? He's in there. Oh, he's inside here? <laughs> Ezra! I've been stuck in here for a while. How long? Well, I keep yelling. <laughs> I'm sorry. I was editing video downstairs, so I had like headphones on. Oh, feels nice. Wow. Thanks for being such a good sport, Benson. I can't believe he could do that. Well, he did it without me noticing, too. Because normally I notice and stop him, but this time. Oh, this, so this happens a lot. Like him trying uh, to do this to you. Oh, try, yeah. But this time was the only time. And he, wait, he put himself in here and then he zipped himself up? Yeah. Wait, no, I don't know if he zipped himself. Yeah, he did. He zipped himself up because there's like no opening. So you put yourself in here after you put your brother in your bed. Yeah. I don't think he meant it mean. I think he just meant like this is what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to be in a bed <laughs> zipped up. Well, so I'll do it yeah. to you and to okay. myself. I can't. I know he I likes like being in his bed. He hangs out in these tight spaces. He probably thought you would like it. Ezra! Ezra! If you want to see more of our unique normal, another mini vlog is here and our autism playlist is here.